How are you feeling about leaving Uganda? Sad. It's just not been the last day together that I was hoping it would be. and welcome back to our channel. I am currently in Uganda, but I am actually leaving tonight. We are currently trying to move all the things to the new apartment. So that is what we are doing this morning. It was a bit of a change of plan. We're supposed to be going to the zoo and um, I feel like Adam has been asking to since we left Uganda, but we were supposed to be leaving for Entebbe very early this morning, go with all of them, go to the zoo. Um, and we just, can't, we just can't do it. We've got too much to do, it's impossible. So instead, we're gonna move this morning, get on with some of the things we need to get done and hopefully have time to go swimming with the kids. Um, and then we won't go with everyone to Entebbe. We'll stay night and bye to all the kids here because uh, we've got a very, very early morning flight. So then Josh will take just Adam and I. So that's the new plan. So I'm back at the new apartment again. I actually just went into town with Josh. We managed to find a home for the new kitchens, thank God. So they found their, yeah, gone off to their new owner. And I also went to see a new potential school for Tally because we are considering changing her school because it hasn't been working out quite as we had hoped. But yeah, the kids are here now. I'm about to bathe them and yeah, try and get on with things. But plans just keep changing every minute. I had promised them we'd go swimming, but it is about to rain and it is not sunny at all so it doesn't look like we'll be doing that mm -hmm. i feel like you couldn't make it up things are still going wrong you know hours before we leave josh took we rented a car for the last few days so we were going to the village and everything and josh took it to be clean because it was filthy after the village yesterday and we got to take it to the airport and the person that was cleaning the car stole the battery and put in an old one and now the owner has found out and there's a big fuss obviously because it was a new battery that was in the car and it's been stolen and a bad one's been put in and now that's taken josh away from us on our last few hours here oh it's never ending isn't it hello my darling i want to talk to you who? You, mostly. Me? Yeah, you can, to, you can come as well, George, if you want. How are you feeling about leaving what Uganda? Sad. Sad? What are you mostly sad about? Leaving my friends. Leaving? Who are your friends? You mean your <coughs> brothers and sisters? Yes. Have you enjoyed your time here? Yes. I'm about to book our flights to go back to Uganda. It's done it. This is actually a ticket, but look at that paper, what sort of ticket do you think it is? Pick me up on night. Where are we going to go worse? To Uganda. Yay! 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 Yay!
travel far away If we leave today Will you tag along? Come on, tag along Far away If we leave today Will you tag along? Wow Come on, tag along Footprints on the beach So closely hand in hand Till we're out of reach Ain't going by the clock Like we're frozen time Your kisses are so hard And your eyes, they shine Travel far away If we leave today Will you tag along? Travel far away If we leave today Will you tag along? Come on, tag along What's the best thing we did? The best thing we did was when we went to the water and tell you better. When we went to the... What's it, what do you mean? Eh! Uh, well... We went to the beach and Tally fell off everyone's shoulders. Yeah. That's your favourite thing we did. Tally falling into the... That is you cheeky boy. Poor Tally. I have something else. Yes? This time it's different. Mm -hmm. So I like it when I spend... I like it Mommy. when I like George. I like George. You like spending time with George? Yes, because he's my best brother yet. Best brother yet. So George, what's your favourite thing that we've done as a family since me and Adam have been here? Mm. And we've done lots of things. We went hiking to the waterfalls, we went on the river, we went camping. Well, I can't think what else we did. I know. Hang on, what's your favourite thing we've done, George? To go into the river. Going on the river? Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad you enjoyed that. What about you, Tally? What's your favourite thing um, we've done as a family? To go. Yeah. Mm, to, to what? To to go to Morana. We didn't go to Morana. James, mm. have you had a good time whilst we were here? The choo choo trains. Choo oh, yes, we went to the choo choo trains, didn't we? We went to the train museum as well. And that's what James likes. Um, yeah, we've been in the car a lot, haven't we? Yeah? So you've enjoyed our last few weeks here, yeah? Yes. Are you glad we came? Yes. So am I. I'm going to miss everyone so much though. Yes, and when we go back to the airport, I think I might miss them. And I might be happy in the airport, but I might. I think you're going to have mixed emotions because you're happy to go back to England and see Nanny and Grandad and Uncle Adam and Molly. But obviously also sad, yeah? To leave behind daddy and the others, yeah? Is that how you feel? That's how I feel. Yeah? 
Yeah. I love you, mister. I love you, mummy. I don't know why I bother doing my makeup, but I am gonna not bother wearing any when it comes to the time to leave. Oh, I'm just really, really fed up. It's late. We had loads to get done and we haven't, but the worst thing is we haven't done anything as a family today. We haven't spent even five minutes together. We have not even spent like five minutes together as a family today. And you know, originally we were supposed to be going to the ZOO, which I knew the kids would love. And we decided not to do that, to at least go swimming. And then we've not been able to do that. The kids are bored as well. And it's just not been the last day together that I was hoping it would be. Daddy, So that was really, really tough saying bye to the kids. So they did not seem bothered at all this time. I think we're so, it's so late that they're just ready for bed and they don't really know what's going on. And we are running late now for the airport. I am panicking. We are running an hour late and we've still got to head back to the old house right now to um, pick up Adam's car seat, a couple of things that are there and say bye to the dogs. So to be honest, a huge part of me would love to miss the flight, but I know that would also it's not gonna help things at all and I need to get back so that we can work towards getting our family together permanently. Uh, the way the dogs are going mad, just hearing me be back after a few hours and I'm so sad to leave them. sorry in all these videos but that is currently the situation here and I just wanted to give you an update so this is the quickest I have ever got to Entebbe in my life um, obviously it's late at night so the roads are pretty empty and Josh has also been driving pretty fast and I don't know what the Covid sort of like um, like screening or checking is like now but when I went um, when I left for the UK at the beginning of last year ooh, it took forever, like an hour or an hour and a half um, and it was, it was a nightmare just you know, calling everyone forward, checking the test properly checking they were like legitimate, everything if it's still like that I don't know if I'll make the flight so I'm just really really hoping it's not like that anymore and 
yeah, they were just hoping they'll just briefly check it and we'll whiz through. So, fingers crossed. I'm not really looking forward to saying bye to Josh. I have cried so much today though. I always seem to like m manage to pull myself together when it comes to actually saying bye. But I'm just absolutely exhausted. It is so hard. I don't know how these families, like, you know, military families and this, do this kind of thing all the time and, you know, live long distance from their family because it's just so hard. Oh my goodness. So we have arrived at the airport. And I think like, all the stress from today and all the upset and me being really tearful has just made me kind of ill and I've been feeling really, like, sick in my stomach for a a while and they just vomited everywhere as soon as we arrived here in the movie how are you my love yeah. you're all right aren't you adam was adam fell asleep for the journey when we got here i woke him up and said what that took one second <laughs> yeah because when i sleep i think when you sleep it takes you think it's quick yeah airport I've tried to drive really really fast if not she was going to be late and yeah she hope she made it because I've tried my best and one thing I know is that she cried a lot and I'm sad just that I a man and I don't always cry but I always feel sad. Said you needed a break and left with no heads up I was strong for your sake but it made my heart drop Cause it's always been you and I Give me one more try, this is messing with my mind Not gonna lie, but I'll give you the space so you can figure this out I've been losing sleep and it won't get better I can't get my mind off of you Days go by and I can't help but wonder If you think about me too Don't you just hate it Being away from someone you just wanna hold on to It's driving me crazy Tired of waiting I really hate being away from you